Hi, this video is about the Caribou Mathematics Contest. I'm going to show the solution for the April 2015 Grade 7-8 Contest Question 23, which also came up in the Grade 9-10 and 11-12 Contest. Alright, so the question is, select the opposite of the following statement. Everyone answered at least 20 questions. Alright, so one way to go about this question is putting the word not in front of the statement. So that would turn into not everyone answered at least 20 questions. And already for not everyone to answer at least 20 questions, it is enough for just one person to answer less than 20 questions. So for someone to answer less than 20 questions. And if we look at option B, we can see that it is right there. Someone answered less than 20 questions. So B is already the correct opposite of the question statement. All right, but now we want to find general rules for to find the opposite of a statement of any difficulty and complexity. All right, so the first rule is any time we have in the sentence every or everyone to make the opposite, that will go to some or someone. Okay, and that will then go to some or also everyone to someone, and that is vice versa. And equally, if we see the words for all, like in everyone, that will then go to there exists one. And of course, that is also vice versa. Okay, and now the next rule is if we have greater than or equals to in the question, then that will then go to, instead of greater than or equal to, it will just go to less than. Okay, and now instead of greater than or equal to, the next rule is if we have less than or equal to, that will then go to greater than. And again, that is also vice versa. And finally, the last rule, anywhere in the question, if we see and, but just the word and, that will then go to the word or. And again, that is vice versa. So now, looking at the question, we could use these general rules that we just learned. For everyone, that will then go to, <coughs> that will then go to someone for the opposite. And at least means greater than or equals to. And the opposite of that would be less than, which is exactly what we have in option B. We have someone instead of everyone, and then we have less than instead of at least. Okay, so now let's look at the other options and see why they are not the opposite of the question statement. Alright, so now I will draw a line which shows how many questions were answered for each option. Alright. So we will have 19, 20, and 21. Okay, so let's start with the question statement. It says, everyone answered at least 20 questions. So that distinguishes between answering 20 or more which is 20 or more, and also 19 or less. So that would end up right in this range, right here. So we will call the question statement Q. 
Okay, now let's look at option A. Everyone answered no more than 20 questions, which means it is in between, it distinguishes between 20 or less and also 21 or more. So that would be 20 or less and 20 or more. So that would be right here in this range. And that is option A. Okay, now option B. Someone answered less than 20 questions. And less than 20 means 19 or less. And it also distinguishes between 20 or more, which is again right in this range. So we have Q and A in that range. Okay. All right. And that is actually option B. Okay. Now, option C, everyone answered at most 20 questions. Well, at most, that means 20 or less. So the option distinguishes between 20 or less and 21 or more. So it must be in this same range. And now we can also see, that we, know, we know that that must be true because C and A are both the exact same options because here no more than 20 and at most 20 means the same thing. So now option D, we have everyone answered less than 20 questions, which means 19 or less questions and also distinguishes between 20 or more. So that must be in this range. <clears throat> All right, now option E, someone answered at least 20 questions. So that, this option distinguishes between 20 or more and also 19 or less. So again, that is also right here, this range. Okay, and now option F, everyone answered more than 20 questions. So more than 20, so that would be 21 or more and also in the border between 20 or less. So that is in this range. Okay, and finally, option G, everyone answered 20 questions. Well, this option is just completely different from the question statement, and that means it must be exactly here at the 20, because everyone answered exactly 20 questions. Okay, and now from this line, <coughs> we can see that options G, A, C, and F just deal with a completely different thing because here the question and the options B, D, and E distinguish between this range, the same range, which is 19 or less and 20 or more, whereas G is only 20 and A, C, and F are 20 or less and 21 or more. So now, since we have already looked at option B, we only need to look at option D and option E. So let's look at option D. Everyone answered less than 20 questions. Well, for not everyone to answer at least 20 questions, it is already enough for just one person to answer less than 20 questions. So you don't even need everyone to answer less than 20 questions. So therefore, D is not the pure opposite of that statement. And finally, E, someone answered at least 20 questions. Well, this shows no contradiction to the question because this could even mean that everyone answered at least 20 questions, which is exactly the question. So it cannot be option E. And therefore, it must be option B, which is the only pure opposite of the question statement. If you'd like to know more about this contest, please feel free to visit our website at caributest.com.